Well, 2019 was one of those years where if everything could go wrong, it was going to go wrong. Seems like every time I would go out, I had bo birds working, I just couldn't get them in bow range. Well, as the editor, you really never know what you're going to get for footage until you actually start watching it. And as Luke turned this footage in, you know, I remember watching through this one morning where there's five or six big toms full strut coming right towards his decoy. I'm like, he's got to be in the perfect spot. How did this not work? You know, as I start watching more of the footage, you see here comes the Tom right into the decoy. Then when I finally got one to come into range, I blew it. Not once. Or three times, but four times. Well, I think if I would have missed four times, I probably would have hit the delete button and not let anybody else see it. It's probably going to be a little while before I get to live this one down. Well, Teague and I have been waiting all year for the 2020 turkey season to get here, and uh, we're definitely excited to see what's going to happen. Well, a few days before our opener, we decided we're going to put out a couple different blinds and a couple different food plots that we've had action in in the past. Well, we're getting uh, everything all set up here. We got a few days before the uh, turkey opener here in Minnesota, and uh, brought the boy with me today to kind of help me set him set it up. He's in charge of the steaks and help me kind of clear out a little bit. Um, I usually like to when I do my uh, my blinds, I try to get in there early and clear out the area inside just so it's not so loud and crunchy. Um, just, you know, minimize the noise as much as possible. Well, one thing about Luke, he takes his turkey hunting serious, and this particular food plot where he's setting up the blind fatigue, Luke's took a couple really good toms in the past, so I look for him to have another good season. That works. I'm actually I'm watching, I'm watching the show, keep him occupied. Take it. Well, the first chance that we got to sit in the blind, there's a little bit of snow in the background, a little bit chilly that morning, but we had birds gobbling. <laughs> Next thing we know, there's a big tom up on the top of the hill, gobbling, coming our way. I'm getting Teague into position and ready to go. We look up and he ends up coming in, walking right towards us. As you can see, it comes right into the decoys. Well, we had everything kind of set up on the Jake decoy, and uh, the, the Tom ends up get, getting hung up on the hen that we got about 10 yards away. So we got, we're trying to scramble and ramble and grab the crossbow and everything, get it moved over, and trying to get Teague ready and on that bird.
and it is. After the shot, you know, you look at Teague and he just thought it was a missile going right into him. And it's just to see that, you know, smile on his face and his excitement, you know, that's that's pretty much all the times you sit in the woods, that's the one time that it's definitely worth everything. Hit him right there, really big, a big hole. Isn't that, that's a good hole. Yeah. All right, here, grab that side. You hold it like this. Well, I'm definitely super excited. Um, I actually was wondering how this feeling would would be once uh, T got the got his tom. Um, we've actually been practicing really hard on on getting him, uh, or yeah, getting him trained in on the crossbow and everything. And he's been doing an amazing job. Um, his groups have been pretty good, you know, 10, 10 yards. And uh, it was actually a little bit further than what we've been practicing. But I mean, T, you know, he's been shooting a little bit low, so it makes sense that he shot him a little bit low. And I just the shot is amazing. I'm just so proud of him. It's crazy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Thanks a lot. I love you. Give me a kiss. Mm. That's why I wanted to shoot low. So if the turkey's like low down, I can hit, like, when he's like this, I can just go straight into him. That's a great idea. Can we get some nuts? Some skin? Skin it, bro. Love you. Nice job. Are we just going to leave the tent? Well, you can tell that Teague is just completely ate up with this whole hunting thing. And I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of Teague Burgo in the future. You know, and Luke said he was really excited about getting home and showing his mom and his sister. Well, us Burgos, we eat everything that we kill, so Teague's pretty excited to get back home and get that bird soaking in some marinade and throw him on the smoker. Well, we're going to cut her up. Teague put an amazing shot on this bird. Um, said he hit her a little low, but honestly, that's pretty much the shot that you want. Um, hit her right through the thigh and it broke the other side. So that turkey wasn't going anywhere, which is pretty exciting. So what we're hoping to do is kind of get her all scun out. We'll get her weighed. And uh, hopefully soon we'll be smoking this bad boy. I want to smoke the whole thing. So kind of excited to see what what kind of flavors we're going to get on. This is the biggest one I got. That's a funny noise. How old was Mia? Oh, 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 oh. I can't see. 296 with you on it. Hmm. So that means you're 46 pounds. How much is Zeke? And the bird is just about 25 pounds. Two ounces shy of 25 pounds. Um, well, we're getting everything kind of set up here for uh, Teague's big turkey that he shot the other day. Um, we've been soaking it in a good brine for the last day and a half, and uh, we're actually going to be starting this pretty early. That's why I got the lights up here and everything. Um, then what we got here is a 55 gallon drum, and a buddy of mine actually made that and uh, he's letting me use it. I've, I've used it now for about a year and I love it. It's actually pretty sweet. So he's got a couple different uh, deals on the bottom where you can open it up and allow some more air to come in. And, uh, actually, if you really want to cook up the heat, what I do is I throw on uh, the air compressor and I throw some heat in there, otherwise I just blow in it and it allows uh, definitely some more heat. So I'm getting the charcoal kind of going right now. We're going to throw that in um, and I'm going to kind of get everything warmed up a little bit. So throw a little bit of low heat on it. Um, so it's going to probably be about four hours of just smoke, uh, more or less. It's not going to be much heat and we're just going to try to get the, the flavor, you know, infused. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So. We'll be back here probably in six to eight hours and we'll check in. It'll be uh, daylight by the time we come back here. So yeah, check it out. So what we did is uh, we got it all cut up yesterday, I guess the day before. And uh, 
let her kind of soak in a little bit of brine. I've been adding uh, ice to it and we got a little ice maker, my little boy all day, he's been uh, adding ice and everything just to make sure she's cooled down. But uh, it's been soaking in a uh, special brine. Also we put some lemon peels, some uh, lemon in there and hopefully that's gonna help kind of make it a little bit juicier, give it a little bit sweeter flavor. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna rub, uh, do a little bit of dry rub on it and we're gonna get her thrown on. Right now we're getting that grill kind of cooking a little bit and yeah, we'll see what she looks like here in a little bit. dampen on it. Try to dry it off just a little bit. Oh yeah, smells good. So usually what I do is I try to lay it down on the back first. Try to keep the wings kind of tucked in a little bit. As much as you can, because the wings are gonna get done first. But like I said, right now we're just trying to do a low heat on it. And it's more or less just gonna hopefully just smoke in flavor and kind of infuse it and that's kind of what we're going for so right now our temperature is actually a little bit higher than i'd like but it's about 180 and uh yeah the more we keep it open the more it's gonna give it fuel so right now we're just gonna close her up come back here in about six hours and we'll be good to go give her a whirl closer so right now we probably had her on the smoker for about seven to eight hours ish nice and smoky let's check it out once the smoke kind of clears here hope you'll be able to see it so I just flipped it just added a little bit more wood and uh yeah give her a whirl Whew. there we go get her nice and tight look at that smoke just pouring out of there so like i said right now we're trying to get some heat in it so i got her all the way open Got the valve on the side. Um, this guy here, nice valve there. Got the valve down on the bottom. That bad boy opened up. And I got the other one opened up. So right now we're just kinda see what happens here in the next two hours. There it is. All day smoked. I think we're looking at like about 12 and a half hours. Look at that. Tiggy's turkey that you shot. What do you think? Um, Tiggy, hold on, hold on. Hey, I gotta get the video, bud. Tiggy, come here. I need more. <laughs> do you want me to cut up Abby's? Let's, Let's see. Let's see it. Gonna... Jeez, that's a chunk right there. Oh, yeah, of course she does. That makes sense. <laughs> Tiggy, <laughs> where'd that turkey come Abby, from? Where's the food? Mm. Who shot it? Where is it? Me. Where's the food? You like that? There. Is that good? Oh, <laughs> yep. Honey, what about this? Well, great looking recipe and what an awesome hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed watching T kill his first big old Tom. You know, I'm sure it's the first of many. Hey, thanks again for choosing the Dirt Road Outdoors TV video. Hopefully you guys will go down and leave us a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you liked. And hey, we'll see you right back here next time on Dirt Road Outdoors TV.